before we get to those people, um, Vice President Kamala Harris, of course, was a senator from California. Um, as many politicians get a lot of, you know, back, you know, backlash and, you know, there's a lot of misinformation. How should we be viewing her? And this is, opinion, you know, columnists yeah. write opinions, hopefully rooted in fact. Right. That's yes. <laughs> kind of the job. Right. How should we be viewing her and what noise should we turn down as it relates to her? And is she presidential? Whatever you know, that means. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a whole nother complicated question of what it makes presidential. But I mean, I think she's a complicated person. Right. I think, you know, one of the things that doesn't get talked about, at least in my opinion enough, is that, you know, politics in California is basically people run for office on TV because we have such a spread out state. Los Angeles is nothing but sprawl. Uh, and to really to get people's attention in particularly in a market where not everybody speaks English and a lot of people don't, um, you need TV advertising. And so in some ways, Kamala Harris is, I look at her, particularly once she became attorney general running for statewide office, you know, um, and, and then the Senate, she is a product of California politics. So she, if she seems standoffish, it's because she's been doing a lot of running for office throughout her career um, on TV and not doing a lot of retail, you know, stuff. And I do think that her flaws as a candidate, um, and I say this as somebody who did cover a bit when I was in Sacramento, um, showed up on the presidential campaign trail. And she has to kind of let you know, be more real with people, like let not just have, this is my image and I'm not going to crack it. You have to let people in. And I don't know, I, you know, watched her, you know, throughout her time as vice president, of course, she's a black woman. She's going to get, you know, grief that is not deserved and be get extra scrutiny. And a lot of it is not fair, but I do think she does have the challenge as a candidate of not coming across as really, really authentic. And, it, and as somebody who has talked to her one-on-one, it's not that she can't do that. She just doesn't. And I don't know why that is, but you know, the person that you talk to one-on-one with her is not necessarily the person you see on TV. And I, I think until she can kind of meld those two things, I think it's going to be hard for her to elevate to the point of being a presidential candidate, but you know, anything can happen in the next two years. So I could totally yeah. I agree with you 100 percent. We have uh, Governor Westmore on to kick off the show. Mm -hmm. And I think the one thing that made it possible for him to be governor of that of that state was that he keeps it. He's real like he's Mm -hmm. a real dude. He's going to wear his dashiki, his shorts. He's going. Yeah, I'm not going to bring out my whole family is I may press the flesh and have these talking points. But you can talk to me like a human being and I'm going to respond to you like a human being and feel like he's telling the truth. She always it's like there's this mask and you know you can be aka and have gone to howard and have this badass of a mother who was fighting for civil rights and but none of that bleeds through your your sister's dope as hell i follow her on twitter like Mm -hmm. be that your your (laughs) your niece is out there doing stuff like yeah i don't care that you're married to a white man none of that bothers me i just need you to be real and it's like we can't trust her because she can't do that. So I, I feel you. I feel you. I mean, but, you know, if it's between her and anybody Republican, especially yeah. Haley, it's yeah. going to be Kamala Harris. Oh, That's absolutely. <laughs> easy. There's no doubt about that. You know, 